Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my project. Today we have a big update. Welcome back to part 4 of my build. As you can see now I'm mid into the teardown of the KTM, engine is almost loose. Everything looked dirty but nothing is really rusted or broken. Not even the swing arm pivot is seized. That made me really happy. So now I'm pretty much just gonna weigh this engine. And then I'll put it into the Husqvarna. Okay, the engine is out. As you can see, it's 24.8 kilos, while the BRC 500 engine was 29.2 kilos. So I'm actually pretty surprised. I thought this one would be a lot lighter, but only being uh, three and a half kilos in between those. I think I have a new goal to reach. In theory, by the specs I found on the internet, the uh, Husqvarna should be 2.6 kilos heavier than the EXC. I also did a shock swap. So this is the EXC shocks rather than the Husqvarna shocks. The Husqvarna shocks was 600 grams lighter, so we will be keeping those for the EXC project. I'm done putting the Husqvarna back together, and I can confirm that we lost 3 kilos. That's like six pounds on bike swap alone. I measured the EXC with the 250 engine and the same tires, the same setup. And when putting it back in the Husqvarna, I measured it and we moved three kilos off the EXC. This is what's left of it at the moment. So I'm really happy with the results of this um, yeah, I could just as easy have just fucked up and wasted my time, but uh, we really saved 3 kilos on swapping bikes, so that gives us a huge advantage later in the build. If you miss it out on the Husqvarna build, I did that uh, exclusively for uh, Instagram, so you, I, I wasn't planning to post that here anyway. But stick around for the EXE build. The total weight of the parts laying on the ground there should be about 109 kilos, so we still have 9 kilos to lose. I already fucked up once with this, I was planning to save at least 1.5 kilos on the tires, but when the tires came it turned out they were actually heavier than the tires I had, so I'm still looking for better tires. And uh, as you see on the parts there, I'm, I'm planning on losing weight on about everything you can see here. Some, some stuff like battery tray and CDI casing, stuff like that. Maybe 100 grams, but if you save 100 grams on 10 parts, you have saved a kilo. So during a weight reduction project, you always have to remember that everything adds up. See, this is what I'm talking about. Radiator guns. See, these alone is 834 grams. If you combine them with, let's see, 
frame guards. You already lost a kilo from your bike. But putting all of this together, I'm gonna make a smaller episode so we can go into detail with each part. Like, let's say this seat, I'm really hyped about the seat and see how much I can save by doing mods to that. But pretty much everything you see here, I'm gonna do something with or swap them out completely. I already have a few new parts already coming. Still waiting on titanium bolts. We already did the head, we have a special carb. I figure out what recluse it is, it's a EXP first generation. If that's better or worse, I don't know. T-rods, 